Hey, good afternoon, you guys, and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? Um, I wanted to talk about, okay, um, straight drop. Okay. Straight drop is asking for, um, a new trial. Okay. Straight drop is asking for a new trial. He is saying, saying, uh, that, uh, there was not enough evidence. It's something because, okay. That's something, you know, that he's asking for a new trial because he's wanting. Let's read exactly what what he is um what what he's saying. Okay, it says convicted young Dolph Unalive requested new trial. The man convicted of Unalive and Memphis rapper Young Dolph wants a new trial. This is according to a motion filed Friday by an attorney requesting. Justin Johnson, representing Justin Johnson, saying that there wasn't enough evidence presented during the four-day trial. Um, on September 26, Johnson was found guilty of first degree on a live in conspiracy to commit first degree and all of that. He was sentenced to life in prison, sentenced to life in prison. Okay, so he already know that, you know, um, he's going, he has a, a court date coming up to be sentenced again. <clears throat> yeah, this is weird because okay. It's it's weird. But let's see. Um let's see. Um Hold on. Let's see if he has a new attorney. Let's see. I didn't hear that he did, but we're going to see if he has a new one. Hold on, I'm pulling up his stuff. Um. Here it is right here. He's saying there wasn't enough evidence. Let's see. Um, it, as of right now, it is showing that Evans is still his attorney. Uh, jewelry charge. Wouldn't, okay. Yeah. Let's see. What was last Friday? Okay, so on last Friday, his attorney did file some motions. He actually filed two more motions today, okay? He filed two more motions today. I'm looking at that in, in his uh, court documents. Um, he's saying that there wasn't enough evidence. There was a lot of evidence and stuff that was not uh, presented um, in that particular case because Cornelius basically brought it home. Um, everybody already knew that he was going to try probably and, and um, try to get an appeal and all of that. Um, this is what straight drops attorney. Remember, I told you all now, this is what Luke is known for. Uh, you didn't hear Luke uh, arguing with the prosecutors, um, saying anything about um, misconduct or anything like that in court, right? We did not hear any of that. Normally, when an attorney feels like something is unfair, there's misconduct, they be, there's a lot of objections and things of that nature that never happen, right? So, I mean, I, I guess it's understandable because Straight Drop is going to be looking at more stuff. And this is weird that uh, he's asking for a new trial um, because, you know, just just recently he was doing something else. So I, I'm, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what, what's really going on and what this is really about. Um, we know um, that he's mad at uh, uh, quite a few people because 
he wanted them told on, right? So I don't know if this is a way for those that are scared, uh, that knows that the Fed's watching them and um, is looking to get them also. This is a way that they continuously put a pacifier in his mouth whenever he gets ready to talk, whenever he does go talk, right? Um, they make him think they re uh, in order for Luke to be stayed on, that means he was re-retained, right? If he's trying to get a new trial, he was re-retained. That means he was given a lump sum of more money, right? People are trying so hard to uh, keep Straight Drop's mouth closed because he, he, he will talk. He will give them. He has been giving them information, right? And so whenever he does, you know, um, people, you know, folks get visits and stuff. They get scared and they um, re-retain lawyers, okay? They 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 react and because Luke had to be re-retained. We know that Straight Drop does not have any money. So who is paying for this, right? Who Who's going to be paying for him? Uh, all of these motions and things of that nature. Luke is consistently coming from Nashville to Memphis to file these motions and stuff. He has to be paid to do things of that nature. So who's coughing up that money? We know Straight Drop is not because he don't have it. Okay. Um, so this is, you know, like I said, this is going to be interesting. It, it, it just proves to me when I see things of this nature, it just proves to me when, because see, Straight Drop seems to be easy to manipulate. Okay. Um, we're going to get you out of this, bro. Just keep your mouth closed. Don't do what them people want you to do. Don't say nothing else. We're going to get you out of this. And they get Luke. Luke is real good at barking to cough up some noise. And then it's back in the media and it gives straight drop a false sense of security, a false sense of hope when all that's getting ready to happen is that they're doing it. This Ganguly was about to help him a little bit. They hurry up and got Luke put in place because Straight Drop had started talking then. Okay, he was he 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 had started woofing then, and they hurry up and got him an attorney. When Ganguly told him, "Your charge partner is 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 talking. You ain't got no way out of this. Save yourself. At least we can work out something." And you know he allowed them to manipulate him, and this is just another form of manipulation. But hey, listen, the the hey he he. If he's doing what a lot of other convicted people would do if they had the money to do it, this is the same thing that they would want to do. But a lot of young men that have been convicted of the same types of crimes that straight drop is has been convicted of, they can't do it this fast because they don't have any money to do it. Their families don't have any money to re-retain lawyers and pay for these motions to be filed and all that. Straight drop can't do it either, but he got some type of machine behind him to be able to do it. This right here shows me desperation. Desperation, okay? Um. So, hey, and I ain't talking about desperation on straight drop's part. It's desperation on on somebody who uh, knows that they're gonna be looking at jail time, okay? Part, who, who, whoever it is that, that has the money. And from my understanding, it's about, it's, it's about three of them that ought to be real worried that's in CMG, okay? I know a lot of people don't want to believe that, but it's written all over the, all, it's written all over, the writings is on the wall. Everybody and their mother, has said at some point that these people had something to do with what had happened to young Dolph. Okay. Everybody has said, it. I can remember that, um, uh, when, um, uh, Yo Gotti was on the breakfast club. Okay. And this was right after, um, young Dolph, they had hit at him. They actually, when they did what they did to him in LA, and Yo Gotti had said, um, you know, he didn't have anything to do with it and all of that. He didn't he didn't know anything about it. He was like, but, you know, hey, um, I wish him luck. I hope he stays safe. And you had people saying even then that um, they knew at that point when he said that people that's out in the street that know the lingo because I don't said they knew at that point that he was going to finish him off. So, I mean, I think everybody had already known who was involved in what had happened to him. And, of course, a, a lot of these people that are paying, putting money in this got something to lose, right? So, of course, if they can, you know, if they tell the, tell the feds, do their job, we're desperate. We got to funnel that money to that attorney, go take it to his mama, 
so the mama can go and pay that attorney. They'll have to try and prove that, but we are desperate so that we can make him think that we're doing something to try to get him out of jail so we can keep that pacifier and that lollipop in his mouth. Hey, and maybe it's going to work. It worked the first time, okay? But I guess we shall see, okay? But even still, it is saying that on... um. I think I X out of it. He still goes to court for for sentencing on the other charges on November the first. Now Cornelius, it would have been different if Cornelius had said that it was Orange Mound quit and straight drop. If he had tried to disassociate himself like he did the first time, but this man says it was me and sitting next to me in the car was him. Okay, they got him on video. They got. Do do they need to rip, whip out them phone conversations? But see, you know, Juke ain't here no more. And from my understanding, you know, he was on the, he was on on there, um, asking him, you know, talking about some money or something like that. So it's just it's a lot of stuff that they did not whip out. So um, hey, people get so desperate that they start, uh, you know, just spitting out money to to try to keep a person quiet, but don't know that all the time they're consistently wrapping themselves up in something that they already ain't going to be able to get out of in the long run anyways, right? So anyways, we'll see what happens, okay? I had to jump back on and talk about this, okay? But I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App.